All right, this is probably my eighth time doing this video. I'm gonna try to shoot through it real fast as I drop my controller on my hand. Right now, the changes that I have is for R4, I don't know, monsters. For the monsters, I actually changed it to where now you can create the database for all the monsters that you have created. You have a high and low filter system to be able to, to filter your list. And as soon as you select your monster sprite, I mean your monster category, it'll automatically generate the, generate, well, should I say attach the given monster and animation blueprint type for that monster into the actual object. Same thing goes for NPCs. If I can control my mouse on this very little screen. I have it to where you can Somewhere in here, ah. you can have layered events, so you can come through and select your different events that you want to happen on a given NPC. It's going to be a first come first serve basis, so the first event that's enabled in the list would be the one that's currently activated. Once you actually finish the event stream for that and it disabled the event, it's going to come through and rescan your characters, well your NPCs, and enable the highest one in the tier. So this will give you the ability to pretty much switch an event from one event to another, to another, to another for an event quest and things like that. And pretty much reuse the same mesh character for a different event flow. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna delete this. Delete, make sure I deleted the right one and not breaking it again. All right, since I ran out of time before, I'm gonna go through this real quick. Full screen this. All right, I have the radar working. I can see all the enemies over there as they scatter about. I have my store. I can buy, come in here, buy items. Come over here, figure out where they just walked to. All right. My party member was just removed. I got an item. Moving. Now I have an item requirement. So now to be able to complete this event, I have to go out and get a generation capsule. So I'm just going to do this real quick. And I think an enemy just saw me. Please go away. I'm trying to make a short video. Thank you. Have a nice day. Don't die. All right. So I'm gonna cheat, not punch the store, but I'm gonna talk to the store and buy generation capsules. That's definitely enough, I only need one. All right, where, where did she go? See, this would be much helpful if I actually had them on the radar. All right, so no one left the party because they're already gone. That was one Now I finished the item, I got the item back. If you notice the video didn't play, that's a bug that I just recently found out. After you play a video, for some reason it doesn't play it again. The second time you go through, I'm kind of certain there's a reset variable. I'm trying to find that other NPC. It's not that one down. Ah, there you go, come here, come here, where are you going? All right. And I broke something apparently. Let's try this again. I have a lot to, I have a lot to fix, rewrite, and implement. And apparently, play doesn't work either. Play, please, isn't it Alt P? All right, let's try this again. I think I want this person. Yep. So this goes through and tests the different visual effects. I got fade in from white, fade to white, fade to black, fade in from black. I have my radio selection menu for my choices. And since I know that I'm going to need an item over there, I'm gonna get the generation capsule from here. I can finish that other event. 
this mm-hmm. test the billboards and technically voice acting, even though it's only a bong right now, but at least it tests to make sure that the process will wait for the sound to finish before going to the next one. Or like right now is waiting for my user interaction before I can go to the next one. All right. Where? Where is the other? There you go. Come here. All right. So just move my party member. I acquired a spray can. Go. I skip the video. Usually when you skip the video, it's supposed to stop the video. I press. I still need to fix that. And now it shows that you got the item. Blah, blah, blah. It finished the event stream. Uh, show the other part of this. I actually need to zoom out here real quick before I run out, out of time in this quick video. I'm just going to put myself in the heart of battle or death. One or the other. All right. I actually do need to show off death. So. I'll quickly switch to my other character, which is a lot weaker. See if I can get her killed. Switch to battle mode so I can see my life. The other character is trying to actually kill the enemies while I'm trying to die. All right, let's see. Come on. Spit that fiery death. All right, so she died. Automatically on death, it'll switch to the other character. You see some of the death animations. Looks like you got a last lick in there before everything went down. I have lock on working. It's the center of the character. All that good stuff. Ah. My roll is not exactly a good roll because I need to figure out how to get the root motion working. I hope I can actually kill these without actually dying. I wanted to show the restoration of a character from the end and probably saving, but I ran out of time for this weekend. But hopefully next time I'll be able to show more stuff. And last thing is not really much, but it's just a stamina um, penalty for using up all your stamina. Um, things that I can show real quick in these last few minutes I have before the recording topples on to itself. I have the the NPC movement types. So this one's going from um, waypoint to waypoint for patrolling type NPCs. These are run, these are going into random positions around their entire area so they're on wonder mode and of course you have static mode which is for the store over here. Um, buy all the things get item descriptions that is not for some reason item description is not updating now apparently it hates me okay but um eventually when you buy armor I'm going to try to see if I can get the character to load over here for 3d mesh I'm going to see if I can get the stats updated properly so when you I when you hover over an item that's stronger you'll get positive stats and it shows you you know your progression and things like that also gives you the ability to switch back and forth to different party members, which right now looks like it's Tori and then blank. Oh, the other person died. Of course, it's blank. Shouldn't let me toggle then. Should just be Tori, but okay. Uh, that's all I can think of right now. Let me know what you think. Have a nice day.